Okay, the next type of problems that we're going to talk about are ones where we're given some functions and we have to describe where it's continuous. So actually you can think of these as kind of like doing domain type problems. In pre-calculus you did some problems where you talked about where the domain is. So in fact domain goes right along with continuous. So uh, where if you have a number that's not considered in the domain, that means that that's a place where it's not continuous. That's kind of the connection. So essentially we're doing the same thing as finding the domain here. Okay, so for this, if we're considering what values that we can use here, that's a fifth root. Okay, now if you have an odd root, you can use negative numbers, you can use positive numbers, you can use a zero. So in this case, any number that you have there would be okay to put in here. So again, uh, there's no restrictions with negatives, no restrictions with positives, we're not dividing by zero, we're not taking up uh, an even root of a negative number. So because of that, that means that this one is going to be continuous for every single number. So what you would say for the answer on this, since it asks us to use interval notation, is you would say it's continuous from negative infinity to positive infinity. There's no place where it's ever going to be a hole or of some kind of vertical asymptote. Let's take a look at this one. Now this is a square root, so this is an even root. Now even roots, I'm not allowed to take even roots of negative numbers. So therefore, if you have a square root here, you have to make sure that whatever is inside has to be positive. So the way you'll solve these kind of problems is you're going to take whatever is inside the square root and you're going to set it to be greater than or equal to zero and you're going to solve. Whatever you get from this, you're just going to form your interval notation and that's going to be your answer. So for this, we're going to add 35 to both sides, 6x equals 35, or we're going to be greater than or equal to 35, divide by 6, and we get that x has to be greater than or equal to 6. Now, is there ever a chance that you're going to use a greater than only? Yeah, if you have a square root on the bottom of a fraction, in that case, you would not want to include the equal sign because in that case, you could be dividing by zero. But in this case, because there's no fraction involved, it's okay to include the zero because the square root of zero is zero, and we have that. So for this one, uh, greater than or equal to, for interval notation, you're going to use a bracket on that, 35 over 6, and that's going to go to infinity, infinity, negative infinity, always going to have a parenthesis on it. And that would be, this is the only numbers that would be continuous, starting from 35 over 6 to infinity. If you use anything else, it's not going to be, the graph actually doesn't exist there because you can't take a square root of negative numbers. Okay, part C, f of x is 1 over x squared plus 1. Now, when you have a fraction, you want to look to make sure that you're, you can't divide by a zero. If you can divide by a zero, that means that's a place where it's not going to be continuous. So you, you want to consider, is it ever possible that x squared plus 1 can be equal to zero? Well, the numbers that you would think to try would be negative 1. If I put negative 1 in here, negative 1 squared is positive 1 plus 1, that gives you a 2. And if you use uh, positive 1 or negative 1, doesn't matter, that's never going to allow you to get a zero. If you put zero in here, you're going to get a 1 in the bottom. So in this case, the bottom can never actually be equal to zero. If you try solving this, take x squared plus one, set it equal to zero, you're gonna get an imaginary number as the answer. That means that it's not possible for the bottom to ever be zero. So this is another one where we're gonna put negative infinity to positive infinity. That means that it's continuous for every single number. There's no chance of us ever dividing this and getting a zero on the bottom.